In this video, we will learn how to add or subtract numbers in scientific notation. For that, we have this procedure. First, if the numbers have different exponents of 10, we, re we have to rewrite a number that is the number with a larger exponent such that the two numbers will have the same exponents. Once they have the same exponent of 10, we can get the sum or difference of the coefficients, just the coefficients, depending on the operation. Now, if the sum or difference <clears throat> has a zero before the decimal point or has more than two digits before the decimal point, we have to rewrite that sum or difference for us to get a single non-zero digit before the decimal point. Let's add some numbers in scientific notation. First, let's say we have to add 2.65 times 10 to the 8 and 1.12 times 10 to the 9. Notice that they have different exponents. So first, we have to write this number with a larger exponent so that this 9 becomes an 8. To do that, we have to recall that if we, want to if we want the exponent to become smaller, we have to move the decimal point to the opposite direction, that is, to the right. So to make 9 an 8, we have to move the decimal point one place to the right. Let's copy the first term. 1.12 becomes 11.2 and times 10, this time to the 8. Now they have the same exponents. So we can, we can now add the coefficients. 2.65 plus 11.2 is 13.85. And then we copy the times 10 to the 8 since both terms have that. Notice that the, the, sum, the coefficient of the sum has two digits before the decimal point. So to write the final answer in scientific notation, we have to move this decimal point one place to the left. So we get 1.33, the 8 becomes 9 since it is followed by 5. So 1.39 times 10 to the, remember we moved the decimal point one place to the left. So the exponent of 10 becomes larger by 1. How about if we, ha we have to add 9.76 times 10 to the negative 4 and 2.18 times 10 to the negative 5? They have different exponents, so we have to rewrite the number with, with the larger exponent, which is larger, negative 4 or negative 5? Negative 4, right? Because it is less negative. So we have to rewrite this first term. To do that, Rem uh, again, if we want to make this not uh, this exponent equal to negative 5, that is smaller by 1, we have to move the decimal point one place to the right. So 9.76 becomes 97.6, and now we have the exponent negative 5. Then we copy the second term. Since they now have the same exponent, we can add the coefficient. So 97.6 plus 2.18 is 99.78. Then we copy times 10 to the negative 5. Yes, notice that the coefficient of this sum has two digits before the decimal point. So if we want, if we want that the final answer to have, uh, if we want to write the final answer in scientific notation, we have to move this decimal point one place to the left. Okay, so we get 9.9. .9. The 7 becomes 8 since it is followed by 8, which is larger than 5. And now, since we moved the decimal point one place to the left, the exponent should be larger by 1. So the negative 5 becomes negative 4. Now let's subtract some numbers in scientific notation. 
First, let's say we have to get the difference of 3.13 times 10 to the 7 and 4.67 times 10 to the 6. Notice that they have different exponents, so we have to rewrite the number with the larger exponents. If we want to make this 7 a 6, we have to move the decimal point to the right, one place to the right. So we get 31.3 times the exponent now becomes 6, the exponent of 10. Now since they have the same exponents, we can get the difference of the coefficients. So 31.3 minus 4.67 is 26.63 and then we copy times 10 to the 6. Now notice that this, this difference has two digits before the decimal point. If we want to write the final answer in scientific notation, we have to move this decimal point one place to the left. So we get 2.66. We have to retain the 6 because it is followed by 3, which is less than 5. Now, since we moved the decimal point one place to the left, the exponent 6 becomes larger by 1, so it becomes 7. How about the difference of 1.79 minus, rather, times 10 to the negative 9 and 4.24 times 10 to the negative 10? These two have different exponents. So first, we have to rewrite the number with a larger exponent. If we want to make negative 9 a negative 10, we have to move this decimal point one place to the right. So we get uh, 1, 7, rather 17.9 times this time 10 to the negative 10. And we copy the second term. Since they now have the same exponent, uh, we can now get the difference of the coefficients. 17.9 minus 4.24 is 13.66. And then we copy the times 10 to the negative 10. Now notice that this difference has two digits before the decimal point. If we, if we, if we want to write the final answer in scientific notation, we have to move this decimal point one place to the left. So we get 1.30, 1.3, then the 6 should become 7 because it is followed by 6, which is greater than 5. So 1.37 times 10 to the... Remember, we, we moved the decimal point one place to the left, so... The exponent becomes larger by, by 1, so we have times 10 to the negative 9. If you have any question, please leave a comment.